Absolutely. And around Black maternal health and infant mortality, I mean, I, I'm not going to talk about it all day. I'm not, because I, I, I know better. But very much believe that I, like my family and, and I am a product of that. I have asthma. If you, if you look further in the studies, they start studying the kids um, that are born from those Black women. And my mother was an executive here in town uh, in a mostly white space. And so when we're talking about uh, minority stress and, and, and weathering and things that Black and brown folks are experiencing in where they are the minority leading to some of these issues. Um, I was born like, I think almost like six weeks premature wow. or something like that. And that did not even get the stats until my very first day of grad school for my master's wow. at SLU. Like it, we watched a documentary from the nineties, from the early nineties on black maternal health and infant mortality. And so in in understanding that, I literally called my mom like, mom, so we never talked about this. Um, we never talked about how that could be connected and how we could be part of like this bigger scheme of things. Mm -hmm. But there came an opportunity for the organi organization that I work for to do like a birth center, right? And I'm a nerd. So once they posted the paperwork to the state, because there's this whole process that they have to do, um, I went and read through it. And they were talking about, oh, what was it? Um, low risk pregnancies, like that, that's who the birth center was for. And I was like, ding, 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 like, oh, here's my like senior advisor hat. Like how are black and brown folks gonna use that? Black and brown birthing people who already have this higher risk, I want them to be able to use it. Mm. And we, it led to this incredible discussion of like, that's a different lens. If we're going to do that, we need to talk about it more. So we're going to have to set some more meetings. We're going to have to talk to some more experts because um, I consider myself an expert in training, a budding expert in training. So let's bring some folks in that like really know this stuff and get into the nitty gritty. And they were able to do some things that like now it, it's it's an incredible project. Um, and so that's just another just like small story of just like when you have, you know, the empathy, the storytelling, but the data, like it shifts yeah. almost everything like, like instantly. Macy, I feel like we could keep going. I want to. I want to give you space, like, because I want to. I also want to give space for a part two. But before we let you go, let me ask you this. Um, you know, mm -hmm. again, I. I think I'm a bit of a. Um, I think I'm a bit of a realist, probably to the point where, like, I'm, I. I struggle with optimism, right? I do feel though, like, in the role sure. that you, in the role that you, you, you play and that you lead, and the space which you inhabit. You have to have some degree of hope, 